Hi, my beautiful Saggies, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. This is going to be your March 2020 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome, and if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you. All right, so I'm going to start off with your Oracle cards, and then we are going to um, go and do your tarot reading. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, I'm so glad to have you. Uh, those of you that are new and haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. A um, couple of announcements, you guys. For those of you guys um, that are interested in a personal reading, the link will be in the description box below. Those of you guys um, who are interested in the extended, the link is below as well. The extendeds are a little bit different. So they are going to be 20 to... Um, 30 minutes from now on, we're going to do your romance angels, we're going to clarify those, and then we're going to go through you dealing with each and all of the signs. At the end of that, we're going to get in with your love reading, so it's going to be about you and the person that is on your mind the most. The link for that will be down below as well, and for those of you who are not following me on Instagram, the link is below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. On Fridays, we have our weekend energies. I go through all the signs. You can look at it from your person's view um, and from your own point of view as well. And then on Saturdays, we do the free extended giveaways. And if you don't have Instagram, my Facebook link is down below. Everything I post on Instagram automatically goes to Facebook. So you can um, participate either way. And as an extra bonus, if you're following me on Instagram or Facebook or subscribed on YouTube, then you are automatically entered in the giveaway to win a free reading at the end of the month. All right, you guys. So the first cards that I have here are, pers um, sorry, perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to we have blame i accept responsibility for my well-being and then we have imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind I definitely feel like there's some sort of creative um, endeavor that some of you guys are wanting to do here. Some of you guys are wanting to take a leap of faith, maybe start a business. Uh, maybe this is something regarding social media here, but it looks like, you know, you have the skills that you need and you are either at the point right now where you're realizing it or you're going to be realizing that throughout this month here. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I also am getting that you and somebody that maybe there was blame with. So whether this person blamed you, you blame them. I'm sensing this could be strongly a relationship between a mother and a daughter. I'm also getting um, a relationship. So a mother and a daughter in a relationship here where there's two people here and there is some sort of breakup if it was a relationship, an argument, the mother and the daughter, whatever that your situation is here. But I'm definitely seeing where after our time period has gone by, you're both realizing that there was, you know, fault on both ends, right? And that you really can't put any fault on the situation. It's just something that had happened and instead of blaming one another for it you're learning how to deal with it in other ways and you're learning that blaming one another is only putting a strength on the connection even more some of you might have burnt a bridge with this person due to blame and now you're getting a chance to go back and you know correct the way that things had ended we have oh yeah so the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and capricorn some of you could be dealing with the capricorn we have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer, which is Cancer is a very mother, um, motherly energy. So some of you, this could definitely be regarding your mother here, but it does look like there is going to be a resolution regarding a personal issue. And then we have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. So whatever the answers that you're seeking, you know, whether it's throughout this month, it's from this reading, or it's through your own intuition or your own guides, you're definitely going to be getting the answers that you need. And this is going to be, you know, helping you to end this tough cycle for those of you guys that are going through a tough journey. Some of you where this is related to your career and you're, you know, having a tough time within your job or you're not enjoying your job anymore, this is saying you need to use your imagination to see how else you can make income. There there's um, creative skills inside of you, a hobby for some of you here that has the potential to make a massive amount of earnings, but you have to tap into it and you have to have faith in it. We have in the near future and trust. 
some of you guys are definitely being called to do higher things and you're at this point where you are you know transforming into hearing the messages but not really doing anything about them you're at that point where you're hearing them and you're starting to think of what you could do you're not just allowing the messages to kind of come through and you know ignoring them as if they were nothing you're actually about to take action towards them uh, some of you guys throughout this month you're going to be taking your first step and others of you are going to be completing something that you had previously started all right so let's get some messages all right tell me what Sag needs to see for the month of March please oh messages for Sagittarius for March The Queen of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. I'm getting two stories here. Some of you are dealing with a situation where you've been blocked. Uh, some of you might have even been ghosted here. I definitely sense that there's like a another woman uh, situation here. Some of you may have children with somebody and you found out about another woman here. But what I'm sensing is that there are two people that are not communicating because somebody else is putting their time elsewhere. If there are, if you've been, you know, intuitively feeling like something's a little off in your relationship and your partner has been distant, your partner has been, you know, doing things that... Um, just seem a little bit off, then maybe look into it a little bit because with this energy, I'm definitely sensing a third party here where there's a mother and a daughter that are feeling, you know, left out, feeling like they have to, you know, defend for themselves here. This is somebody that, you know, this partner's attention is focused on other things. Others of you, this is you coming out of a period, you know, where you were um, left out in the cold or you might have gone through some sort of breakup within somebody, but it's like you're getting your power back. You're realizing that that breakup was actually a tower moment. It was supposed to be, you know, a moment in time where, yes, you get broken down, but it is just to take the foundations that no longer serve you. And then you're going to build yourself back up and you're starting to realize you're starting to see the good things about not having this person in your life about not being with this person you're starting to realize the good things about yourself and the good things that you have to offer the world here some of you guys are realizing that you're entrepreneurs here i definitely sense that some of you guys may be having money issues um the outside world would never be able to tell the way that you're presenting yourself but deep within when you go home it's like there's a lot on your mind constantly um some of you guys may be presenting to the world that you're okay and that life is okay but really deep within you're going through a lot of things and you kind of just want to spend the day in bed somebody may be used to living a really luxurious lifestyle and they may have to um you know they may go from living a very luxurious lifestyle to a lifestyle that is you know I wouldn't say complete 360, but I would say something that they're absolutely not used to and it's going to take this person a little bit of time to pick themselves back up. I definitely sense that whoever here was blocked or if you're in a if you were in a connection where you're not communicating with this person with the page of swords, I definitely sense that they are, you know, watching here. I definitely sense that they are wanting to figure out things about what it is that you are doing, where are you putting your time, where are you putting your energy, especially those of you who are at this point where you're the queen of wands, where you're realizing your worth and you're starting to put yourself back out in the world because some of you kind of went into hiding, you kind of isolated yourself after this situation here. But I definitely sense that those of you that have put yourself back out there, the past is noticing here and it's literally about time. I'm, I'm like getting this to somebody who's been putting a message in their phone, but they don't send it. They keep putting the message in, but they can't send it. They keep putting the message in, but they just can't send it. And this person is about to press send. So this is somebody that's been wanting to say something to you, but every time they go, it's almost like every time you post a picture or something, this person has a message, or maybe it's a comment that they want to put on the picture, but they just delete it, right? I'm getting like forgetting that you guys were broken up in the first place. Some of you guys, this could have just been a fight right and you might have broke up with this person and they're still trying to take in the fact that you guys are broken up so whenever they see your picture they go to leave a comment on it and then they remember like oh we're not even together you know what i mean it's like as soon as they see a picture of you they kind of forget that you're not together for a second just to get reminded again somebody wants to know what your plans are for your future somebody that you were dealing with in the past and if you still see them in your plans, if you fully let go of this person or not. Justice. 
So it looks like justice is going to be served here. I think that this is somebody who feels bad for certain actions that they've done towards you and they're coming in to make things right. This is somebody that has a little bit of shame, a little bit of guilt on their face when they're coming in trying to give you this justice. This could definitely be why this person has, you know, deleted a bunch of messages that they had wanted to send you in the first place, right? It's like they realize that they have, it's almost like this person feels that they have no right to even be coming in and trying to contact you, but at the same time, they feel so pulled to you. So maybe this could be with a Libra. Empress, we have Le uh, sorry, Libra energy again, actually. And this is Taurus as well here. But yeah, you know, some of you could have been left for a Queen of Wands. This person could have left you for a Queen of Wands or went outside of their relationship to, you know, be with the Queen of Wands. And I feel like, honestly, this is really sad. But what I'm getting here is somebody is a mother and their um, partner stepped out on them because they were too busy focusing on the motherly duties. This person wasn't putting as much energy and effort into the way that they look anymore and into the um, into their partner the same way that they once were before this child had come, because this is a mother that is doing a bunch of things constantly. So this person went and looked elsewhere, and now that you, you know, have picked yourself up, because at the end of the day, you know that you did nothing wrong. You were working on whatever you needed to work on. So, you know, at the end of the day, you're picking yourself up. You're realizing that you don't need to feel bad for this person leaving you for somebody else or this person stepping out of the relationship with somebody else. You know, as much as it did make you feel like, is there something wrong with me at one point? You're realizing that's not the case and turning into this empress. And now this person wants justice, right? This person's been watching. They see that you're turning into this empress. So they left you for something that they thought was better, only to realize that the best is you. When this person already knew that, they just forgot. And now that they're reminded, what are you going to do? To do because this person is definitely coming in wanting a second chance here but you are the empress you are attracting other people you're attracting other options here you're realizing your worth and you're just kind of like standing there with a smile on your face because you know your worth right you know that you don't have to take this person back if you don't want to i feel like you guys are attracting a lot of luck in your life a lot of things are going to be lighting up um within your life i feel like you guys are going to start to be feeling more abundant like there's going to be this it's almost like this dance in your step when you're walking, right? Like you just have this confident way about you, this boost. And this is all spiritual. This is all, you know, work that you've done for the past year. Some of you years that you've been doing work on yourself, healing yourself. And it's all coming from the inside and it's starting to pour on the outside here. This is really beautiful here. You're just really, really beautiful from the inside and it's just pouring out here with this justice card i definitely sense karma is absolutely coming you know things are definitely going to be going in your favor for some of you this is a situation where you know you and somebody that you are with this person has been going outside the relationship but you chose to stay with this person and even though you chose to stay with this person you know you had always figured that there was still something going on. So you're dealing with this person, but you're always in this energy where you're constantly having to look around. You're constantly having to look over your shoulder because you can't trust this person. And now you're realizing you're bringing yourself justice for some of you because you're realizing you don't need to accept this person back just because you have a child, just because you've been together for however long. You know, if you don't, if you feel like you need to look over your shoulder, this is somebody that you can't trust, somebody that you shouldn't be with. So you're realizing that you're the empress for yourself right and then you're deciding that you're going to get justice for yourself and walk away that you're going to get justice for yourself by putting in all that energy love and attention into yourself your child but you know if it's not being matched back to you then you're not going to give that energy out to anybody else yeah i saw the six of coins at the bottom you guys are um, you know, balancing things out. Things are going from a time where they were just unfair. One person, you know, was giving all the attention, all the love, and the other person was just cold and distant. And it looks like you're balancing things out here. We have the Ten of Swords, yeah, and End of Betrayal, because you guys are dealing with a relationship that really burdened you. I feel like this is a relationship, yeah, Eight of Cups, you guys are walking away towards your happiness here, realizing that, you know, you're not happy where you are, and you're not sure where you're going. But you know that, you're going to make sure that it's happier than that it's a happier place than where you currently are because you're going to control that new destiny that new you know life that you're going to build for yourself here with this eight of cups here 
I definitely sense like I'm getting like emotionally drained. Some of you guys, this is a relationship where, you know, you left this relationship, you know, not knowing who you were leaving because it was not the person that you came into the relationship with. It's just a whole, like some of you guys were completely blindsided. And others of you, this is something that, you know, was trying to be shown to you throughout the process. Like this person did show you their true colors little by little, right? And you kind of just blew it off. Um, but you're, tr you're finally seeing, you're finally seeing this person for who they truly are. And now you're able to walk away here because this person has really hurt you. They've really put you through the ringer. They've really done a lot. Some of you guys, this is something from your past and this is you finally now realizing your worth because this is a connection where for some of you guys, it took you about eight months to find yourself again after leaving this relationship. And you know, the, even though the past eight months weren't about this person, it was about moving on from this person it still had to do with this person and that's why their energy is coming up here because with this ten of swords this really got you down it took a while for you to get back up but you're you're getting there on the chariot which is all about moving forward determination strength yeah the chariot some of you could be dealing with a cancer but definitely you guys are walking away from a situation and very quickly you're picking yourself up here. Um, walking away with confidence, walking away with your dignity, walking away with your respect here. Some of you guys are running away. <laughs> Some of you guys may be deciding to move. You may be moving back to your um, child, um, your hometown. Some of you guys may be deciding to go on a, tra on a vacation traveling because you need to travel. You need to go and explore the world. You just need to be in a different environment but it looks like wherever you're moving is going to lead to success. It's going to lead to happiness. It's going to lead to contentment because you guys were really in a time where you were really feeling down. You're really feeling burdened here. The eight always goes to the nine. And I just saw the page. So some of you have new love coming in. The ace of wands. Yeah, you guys are getting that life back in you. That spark. You know when you... It's almost like, you know how you have like... Okay, say you hate the place that you work at and you're working there for nine hours and as soon as you get home you get to eat you know you're ordering your favorite food and um, watching your favorite show so all day you're so excited to just get home and do that favorite thing that you love doing this is what I'm getting but instead of like an eight hour shift this is like an eight year life for some of you some of you this is just a couple months and it took so and it made such an impact that it could have been a year's worth of stuff that you had gone through with this person but for a majority of you, I'm thinking this is a long-term uh, relationship. So it's like being stuck in that eight-hour shift for years, for months, and then finally getting that break, right? This is you finally getting your life back, finally getting that thirst back for life, finally realizing the things that you're in love with, falling in love with yourself as well, and realizing that there is so much out there that the world has to offer that you haven't even tapped into. Some of you guys may be meeting a new love through traveling here. Others of you may have somebody new that's coming to your country, whether this is to visit, um, city, sorry, whether this is to visit or to stay, and this is the person that is coming towards you here. But with this Ace of Wands, there is a new passion in your life here, joy, you know, just absolute contentment and excitement because I really don't feel like you guys knew what, you know, excitement felt like. Some of you guys haven't laughed, like really, really laughed in a long time and you're finally getting that back here. All right. Three of Pentacles. Your past is definitely going to want to um, come back to work things out, to build, especially if you are married to this person. They're going to be very um, stubborn when it comes to letting this go, letting you go. Others of you have somebody from the past coming back around this time, sending you passionate messages about reconciling and rebuilding what you current or what you had previously had. But I see that you're looking the other way and this person is still very determined to get you to accept this offer of reconciliation. But you're looking away you're not you know you're not focused on that it's like you're looking away and you don't even have to speak because you already know your answer you you don't even have to think because you already know your answer you already know that you're looking forward some of you this is a very odd situation where um instead of you know 
you it's like, okay so what i'm getting is like for some of you what this case is is you wanted to be back with somebody for so very long and they wouldn't take you back they wouldn't take you back some of you this person had you blocked they wouldn't even message you nothing and then one day you were like oh um or no sorry one day you just decided i'm gonna move forward this is when you're getting this when you go from the five of wands energy to you getting to this empress energy you know you're tired of them ignoring you you're tired of them not being on the same page as you not wanting the same thing so you realize your worth and you wait for somebody to approach you that is wanting the same thing as you and as soon as you do this this person comes in asking you to reconcile and after all of those times of you asking you know of course they're going to think that you're going to jump at the chance but you're not because you've moved forward you're over that and this person is going to be very very shocked at the fact that you're not wanting to reconcile like they're literally going to think you're speaking another language when you don't take this person back um but we have the sun to end off you guys so you guys are you know avoiding this person you're not going back to this person but you're moving forward towards your happiness and this is absolutely beautiful you guys some of you guys have a leo coming in your life but those of you that have children you know your child is going to be the love of your life your child is going to bring you so much joy and you're going to bring so much joy into your child's life others of you that are just you know working on growth because the sun is also about growth and illumination right there is so much for you so much for you out there that you haven't even experienced yet and you're going to start tapping into it because you're going to have the time the sun is also about traveling so definitely i'm getting all of the travel cards are out here so those of you who've been wanting to travel who haven't traveled make march the month that you decide where you're going to go and start making those plans even if you can't get there for the next year you can't leave for the next year two years whatever make that plan so that you can figure out how you can get there right because sometimes we think that we could never afford certain things. Putting that energy out there is really bad. First of all, I really don't ever, like, I will never say that I can't afford something because, like, that's just not, I don't like that energy. So, you know, but when you break it down, you never know. Like, what if you were to save $50 a paycheck and even though it's two years later, you still get to go because if you didn't save that $50, you would have never been able to go, right? So look at your budget, you know, if it's hard for you to think about that as a reality and see how it can be a reality, right? So that is definitely, and I'm getting that there will be help along the way. So if you can only save, say you only have $10 to save and you start saving that $10, there is going to be help along the way. So maybe you're going to have extra income one month and you're going to be able to save like six months of that $10 in one month. Or you know what I mean? I don't know how, but I know that unexpected unexpected resources are going to get you where you need to go two months sooner than what you had actually planned is what I'm getting. So however that help does come in, it is going to come in, but you just need to start and put that energy out there, put that intention out there that you're going to be going here on this day or whatever it is. All right. That is what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you do and you would like a personal reading um, based on you, your person's energy, or just you alone, especially if you want to know like what's coming in for you, what you can work on to move forward, and all that kind of stuff, the link for personal readings is in the description box below. And if you want to follow me to your extended, where we are going to look at what new love is coming in for you. And for those of you where this is your past and you're no longer focused on it, you're currently with somebody else, we're going to look at where that relationship is going. Whoever it is that's on your mind is where we're going in the extended. So the link for that is down below as well. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the month and I will see you guys soon. Take care.